Our friends at Terra Mater have footage of one of the most recently discovered primate species. More on that after this video. Hi, this is David from Minute Earth. Over the last 20 years, this person has discovered the most new marine snail species. But he's not a professional scientist. He's a bus driver from Belgium who just really likes snails. But he's not alone. Restaurateurs, teachers, retirees, and other amateurs have discovered more than half of all the new species identified in Europe in the last decade. All around the world, scientists are taking a backseat to amateur taxonomists when it comes to discovering new species. Part of the reason is that discovering a species doesn't just involve collecting a new specimen. It also requires studying and describing it in detail, poring over research and talking to other experts to rule out the possibility that it's not just a variant of another species, and then, and only then, putting all that together and writing it up for an academic journal. On average, discovering a new species can take around five years, and that's simply more effort than most academics can reasonably put in these days. The increasing demands of grants and career advancement mean that scientists need to publish about twice as much as they did 20 years ago. As a result, undescribed specimens, which means undiscovered species, are piling up in offices and museums. One molluscologist estimates he has more than a thousand potential new species in storage that he'll never get to. But amateurs don't have to publish or perish, and the recent digitization of scientific literature and taxonomic guides has allowed anyone with enough interest to become an expert in their preferred branch of the tree of life. Sometimes they're even teaching academics. Fly fishermen, obsessed with crafting more convincing bait, are teaching entomologists new things about mayfly larva taxonomy. What's more, as quality cameras and microscopes, and even genome sequencing have become more accessible, amateurs can now provide the necessary evidence that their specimen is distinct enough to be a new species. And there are a lot of potential new species out there. It's estimated that only 14% of species have been officially scientifically discovered. In particular, the planet's crawling with small, understudied organisms like insects and fungi that might be hiding right in an amateur's backyard. Recently, a retiree found a predatory slug in his garden that, after careful consideration, turned out to be a new species. But even those amateurs without gardens can still get in on the action. The molluscologist with a big bivalve backlog is happy to hand out specimens so that someone else can discover them. And luckily for science, there's a busload of eager amateur experts ready to take the wheel. A new species of lesser ape, the Skywalker gibbon, was recently discovered in southern China in Myanmar. It's pretty amazing we're still discovering new relatives. Our friends at Terra Mater went deep in the jungle to get some of the first video footage of the new species, and watching the gibbon swing around is just amazing. On their YouTube channel, Terra Mater specializes in combining beautiful video footage with stories about conservation and the environment, with breathtaking videos about everything from giant otters to humpback whales. Check out Terra Mater and subscribe at youtube.com slash Terra Mater official.